From what investigators can piece together, she was strangled. And then she was set on fire. The fire was concentrated around her head and her hands. I think that somebody was trying to destroy any kind of evidence. I thought it very strange that Rhonda's remains were located where they were actually located. And it's not a place that a person that doesn't know the area would go. If she'd lost her life in a vehicle accident or she got something wrong with her, we could have understood it. It was very painful to have to bury your own daughter, especially under these circumstances. We thought two or three days they would have arrested somebody. You was like, okay, well, it won't be long, but we'll get answers. We'll find out who did this to Rhonda. 